everyone how's it going uh we're gonna be drinking some uh, drinking some uh some bottles here some doing some first taste you know just pop these bad boys open we got we got larceny you got a good shot of this and we got 1792 that's some mall batch you guys know the deal these were open five minutes ago <laughs> freshly popped as our first impressions videos typically are. Yeah, almost like their first impressions. Okay, so we got jokes. <laughs> um, so we got that larceny. That's pretty funny. And a little bit about larceny. Let's see. Actually, we'll go 1792 because that's on top in our spreadsheet. Okay. 1792. That sounds like a plan. Is 93.7 proof. No age statement. It's a high ride mash bill. I couldn't. They are. It's an undisclosed mash bill, but it is. So say high ride. Uh, Barton 1792 Distillery. And then on Larceny. Larceny's uh, 92 proof. Oh, uh, small batch. 1792 small batch was 29.99. Larceny's 26.99. Uh, Larceny is also no age statement, and it is also an undisclosed mash bill of corn, wheat, and barley. So, this is yes. our first dissection of a weeded bourbon. And, yes. Or like a wheat mash bill, and I am excited for that. Same. <laughs> um, and then that is a, from Heaven Hill Distillery. Yeah, that's right. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, we were just looking <laughs> on. Uh, I, I was just looking on Larceny's website, and um, I never knew this. So, like John Fitzgerald is their. Oh kind yeah, of, uh, it's their kind of thing. I don't think he had actually anything to do. With like he wasn't like a, the master distiller, or I don't think he had anything to do with the actual brand, but they just decided to name kind of the company. Yeah, they have and, a, they have his name splattered all oh, over yeah. this bottle. His little signature there. No, they so, got his name up here. I don't know if my camera will focus that. Probably it's not. It's pretty small, but it is there. But um, anyways, he was a government bonded agent. And he had keys to all the rick houses where they aged bourbon because it had to be like in government back in the day because shit was sketchy. <laughs> um, so it had to be under. That's kind of how Bottled and Bond started as well. And I don't know if that's oh, yeah. a hundred percent right, but but you know that's a, that's about what I know. Um, <laughs> and so he he would sneak into the rick houses and basically take and fill jugs he brought from home and he was just he was he was the original mooch of whiskey basically yes 1792 like, i don't know it's really interesting but yeah and because uh you know he used a key and everything that's like larceny's awesome. big thing yep got a key up here in the keyhole i don't know that's pretty cool and it's a cool That's story. That's pretty cool. Well, like I said, I don't think he had actual any connection to... But anyways, all right. Should we get into... We'll go Larceny <laughs> Yes. Oh, we're we doing Larceny talked, first. We just okay. talked about Larceny, so... All right. And I have it up here. So y'all know how we do. We got some tasting notes over here from their website. Aroma, fresh bread and toffee with a note of butterscotch. That makes sense. Because it's, just... it's wheat. Yes, wheat bread. Yes. I was thinking that doesn't make sense because it's just not rye, but wheat bread instead of rye bread. But, yeah, wheat bread instead of rye bread. Yeah, exactly. Ooh, that's really sweet. I like that. That smells really good. Yeah, it does. It smells like dough. Like bread dough? Yeah, like bread dough. Like raw I went in looking for... Dough? Yeah, yeah, just like raw bread dough. Went in looking for bread and I got slapped with the dough. I get the, I get the butterscotch and toffee pretty heavy. I think it's that sweetness coming in. 
I'm just getting that, like, it's just, like, fresh. It's just fresh. I don't know how to, uh, how exactly to describe it, but it's just, you know, it's fresh bread dough. <laughs> smells like a bakery? Yeah. I don't really Yeah, it smells like a bakery. I don't really get that. See what our favorite reviewer says. Soft with Ooh. array of summer fruits, um, sweet sugar cane, light cinnamon. It is quite light. It is very light. It's uh, just nice and easy. Pleasant. All right. I'm looking to go into the taste on this one. A little bit of cinnamon on the nose. Maybe a little bit. I do get some. I do get that butterscotch. Yeah. 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 For sure. All right. Hold on. Which one of us is going to spell cinnamon wrong? Oh, shit. How do you spell cinnamon? Oh, God. Uh -huh. I was right. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so weird, it though. Really what do you weird. What? <laughs> Is that? Are you sure that's right? I, I no, don't think right. so. That's right. No way. We'll look it up. No shot. I promise you it is. All right, on the taste, buttery caramel and honeyed notes with a rich mouthfeel. And then the finish is, it says it's long, gently sweet, and savory. Going in. Okay. Oh, caught the wrong. Oh, caught the wrong pipe. Um, wow. Holy shit. Whew. What was that? I, I I was choking. I don't know what happened. <laughs> Let me go without that again. Let me tell you, even if you're not choking, that thing punches. Oh, God. Now it's just like... That be um, punching. Punches. That has a lot to it there. Holy. It's not just alcohol punch. It's just like... Uh, it's just... It's punching. It does have a super buttery butteriness going on i kind of see the honey i guess too a little bit it does have a really long nice finish yeah it does i do like the finish i like the front and the finish a lot mm -hmm. the finish is very caramely for me like i just ate like a, a werther's yeah, I got more of that buttery on the front than anywhere else. So yeah, that, I get that too. That I could have something. Back. So I could see the Werther's coming in. Werther's. That's. I'm gonna say. Butter. Yeah, that is a long yeah, finish. Um, Holy. Yeah, very long. I still kind of. Very long. It. I'm still getting it. All right, I'm going to go back on the nose here. Woo! I'm getting cinnamon. That little cinnamon turned into cinnamon. Really? On nose. Me, it got, um... Almost like... Everything's the same, but dialed down, which is really weird. Huh. That's because it tried to kill me. <laughs> Could be. I'm gonna take another sip. Didn't taste like anything that time. Except for the finish. <laughs> the finish is nice. Yeah, right? It died down a lot. It's, it's the front, like, until I swallowed it, it tasted like nothing. That's it's really no longer weird. punchy for me. I'm gonna just take yeah. that out. <laughs> Maybe it's because it was our first but, like, sip. It could be our it first sip our of the first night. Sip, our first sip. But, like, that was a, there was a lot going on yeah. there. That is really weird. Buttery caramel. I get some of that butterscotch on the front too. I still, it's a nice, it's still a nice long finish. 
Let me, let me format this better. Yeah, finish last last forever. For days. And it's pretty good. It's pretty damn good. It's like a smooth finish. Well, okay. Um 1792. Yeah. All right. Uh, rye, spice, vanilla, and caramel. Tr a trace of oak. Uh, it says that you'll get a higher ethanol than the proof would lead you to believe it is. What proof is this? 93.7. So it's not, it's oh, yeah. not very high. Higher. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. Higher yeah, burden I, than proof would lead you to believe. Okay. Yep. Whoa, I mean, that's yeah. so different. Holy. It's super sweet. I feel like we do this every time too. It's just so different. It is very ethanol -y. Man, what am I smelling? Strawberry, like artificial strawberry or artificial cherry, maybe? I don't know if I'm getting so much as fruits as I am, like... Artificial red fruit. That's what I'm landing on. Vanilla. Like, you know those, uh, those... Strawberry hard candies that, like, the wrapper looks like a strawberry? Oh, I see what you mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, I see what you or mean. like that. It's super yeah. sweet. Yeah, it's like a... It's like a oh. sucker. Yeah. I just put artificial red fruit to kind of sum up. Yeah, no, that that checks 100%. I cherry, agree with that, yeah. Fruit, it's like almost like a fruit punch. I was getting something completely different. Now that's all I can smell. <laughs> it is super. <laughs> it, like, it's that. It is that. 100%, like an artificial. Almost like you mis it's... mixed Kool-Aid. Cherry and strawberry. I get a little bit of vanilla. Man. That's what I was smelling at first. Yeah, vanilla. Like, yeah, well, it is a little like a, I don't know, I'm getting a heavy vanilla on that. Heavy vanilla. All right, on the taste. Rice spice along with sweet vanilla and caramel. So kind of the same. Um, Mouthfeel is very satisfying. Just like on the nose, it's a little more, it's ethanol -y than the proof suggests. Oh, it's a little burny. I'm not going <laughs> to lie to you. It's a little burny for 93.7. Yeah, it is. Um, very, the very first I got caramel up front. Caramel up front. Yep. I got that like. It's the first thing I got. I got that sweetness, like a kind of like a vanilla sweetness again. That's fair. Still smells about the same. Yeah, it does. Jeez. I just got vanilla on it now. Yeah, the, the yeah the vanilla fruit, the the fruit thing went away on the nose. I still got it a little bit, but not as much. At first, that's all it was. Yeah, now it's kind of in the background. That's good. It definitely, it feels like, it does feel like a higher proof. I don't like the finish as much as the Larceny. This. No, the is, Larceny has a really good finish. Yeah, it has a more smooth finish. This one's yeah, more it's really spiky. smooth. 
This one, yeah, ninety two is more spiky. I feel like. Whoops. Oh, it hits God. away and it like it fades quick at first and then it just kind of like yeah. coast. Yeah. It, yeah. Like it, right as you swallow it, it kind of goes away, but then it kind of comes back for a little bit. Yeah. Then it, then it's there, right? Which is kind of weird. I don't get a lot of sweetness on the. Uh... I'm getting some. It's more of a toffee as well. On the taste. Up front, yeah. Oh, after now it's really sweet yeah, again on the nose. <laughs> I don't know. So, nose smells the same to me. So seventeen ninety two. It, back in the day, it used to have an eight-year age statement. But just judging by how it tastes, I assume it's probably not eight years old anymore. No. <laughs> I, I highly doubt it. Because of how spiky it is. This one's, this one's more interesting than Larceny. Yeah, it is. Because I can't figure it out. <laughs> I know, me neither. I get a really sweet front, and I get like that, uh, I'm going to put a spiky finish. Yeah. Oh, you fucker, I'm typing. Uh oh. You stop typing. Yeah. Oh, you already Ooh. put that there. Yeah, well, you said that, and I was like, oh, yeah, good, good point, I'll add that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know, I just get the sweet up front. I like I get the the caramel and the toffee on it and then Yep. It hits the back. I don't I don't know what to tell you. I'm kinda of just reading uh we this uh this person's reviews and kinda of make a good point. Like it's I guess this reviewer said this was their go to bourbon, but They've kind of moved on, and like I would even say, for the price that we're sitting at, I might want something different. That's fair. I I like it. I do like no. I I, I like I, it. I like I like it because of how high proof it it like it, it seems. seems. Which is really it's I not though. They make. Let me let me go to their website. So, but like that's why I that's why I'm liking it. They have, it's because they have, it has so much burn to it. Right. Mm, they have burn. quite a lineup. Let me tell you. So they have this the small batch, which is like the, like their main state. Their OG, which is like their main thing, and then they have a sweet wheat, which that sounds really good. A sweet wheat, huh? Uh, they okay. have a sweet wheat. They have a 12 year old age statement stated one. They have a high rye one. They have a single barrel one. They have a full proof. They have a bottled and bond and they have a port finish. And I heard the bottled and bond and the full proof are really good. Huh. A port finish, you say? They have a yeah. port finish too. Okay. Yeah, we like the port finish. We like the port finish. Um, not, we haven't had 1792, we just like port finished. We like Angel's Envy. Yes, <laughs> we like Angel's. Um, can't really... I'm almost out of, we're almost out of Angel's, actually. I know, we need another finished whiskey. I know. You can, Odin, what's that, Eden and Oak and Eden? Oak and Eden? Yeah. They do finished whiskey. Alright, I'm gonna go back to the, uh, the Larceny. Hmm, I would say after tasting this, which is like feels super burning, it's hard to get anything out of this. This got like, yeah, no, there's there's pretty much nothing. I'm not getting anything. If I stick my nose in there, and I mean in there. <laughs> yeah, of course. I get yeah, you really got a kind of butterscotch toffee, caramel, you know, that kind of like the dark s sweetness. I will say though, seventeen ninety two. I'm getting brings... the same thing as before. What seventeen ninety two? Maybe I feel like 
I could get a a slightly better tasting bourbon for the money. I I really like the, the bottle. It is pretty fancy. And you know, <laughs> it's simplistic and fancy. It looks great in a collection. Yes, as a co- as a consumer, <laughs> right? The yes. bottle matters. It does. Yeah. And All about that purchase- marketing yes. scheme. Yes, and my purchasing experience. The bottle matters. Yes. Like, and I really like old granddad. I don't know why. <laughs> but like, it just it's you just like, like its bottle. Uh, yeah. I don't know why. It's because it's pretty shitty. I think that's why I like it. It is, it is pretty shitty. It kind of matches the name. Yeah, they're like, oh, this is how we've been doing it for I, however long. I don't need to change. Why would you change yeah. something It's not broken? Yes. <laughs> Thanks, old granddad. <laughs> And it makes it even better that it smells like raisins and shit. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you, Granddad. I smell cigarettes and <laughs> <laughs> and whiskey. <laughs> Man, the larceny is really good. Um, going back to the larceny, it, it's so smooth compared to the to the seventeen ninety six. It is so smooth. It's completely different. It, it is super smooth. It is so <laughs> it's I mean, it super would, smooth. And I really, people also say that the Larceny Barrel Proof is really, really good. So I want to get. I'd be down to try that. That. that sounds that sounds good. Yeah. Um, I like this, and if it was even more complex and stuff, I feel like it'd be really good. I, and I would assume it has a lot better, a lot better finish. Oh, probably. Um, Cause it's a nice finish. It's just it's not like it's there and it's long, but it's not like yeah. I mean, it's good, but it's yeah. not. It could be better. I've had better finishes. Yes, but this one is long. It is very yeah. It lasts. Um, I'm looking for. I don't know. Oh god. Ugh. I don't know if we've ever really um. Had like what's a really long finish that we've had? I can't really think of anything off the top of my head. Man, I'm getting something else on the taste for the larceny, and I don't know what it is, but you know, I'm not gonna be able to think of it. So <laughs> I don't know what I'm tasting, but it's there. It's in like the mid. It's pretty classic. To be honest, it is really sweet clap. front, long finish. It's just good. It's just good. I do. The more I drink it, the more I like it. <laughs> I think that's how most whiskeys go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think that's, that's how good. most drinking goes. <laughs> Ooh, something I need too is really sweet now. Until you drink it. I took a little hiatus and now I'm back. Oh, I guess it's that red, the artificial red fruit kind of came back. Man, what am I tasting on the... <laughs> I got like a dark fruit on the... Uh... I think I get some of the barrel taste on the larceny. I think that's what I'm getting. Oh, maybe. Hmm. <laughs> it's going to be such a stupid sentence. Light barrel mid. <laughs> ah. Yes. Ooh, that is really sweet now, isn't it? Yeah, right? I want to know where the 1792 name comes from. Um, uh, you good. Wow. Wow. We, 
Holy shit. <laughs> you good? Switching, switching between those two is rough. Yeah. <laughs> From larceny to 17. Wow. I mean, I don't think I'm getting anything else from it. I think that's, uh, that's about it. Yeah, I think I'm about, I just want to know. Where? Oh, so the name of the bourbon references the year Kentucky became a state. Huh. That's what 1792 is. 1792, huh? Yeah, but I thought because because I need a bottle of same <laughs> 17 okay so here's where I'm confused though so Elijah Craig right on their bottle it says 1789 because that's I think that's like when they started making bourbon I could be wrong but how right. did they start making bourbon? And, and, and I, I've heard stories about this. So he's like the the, the father of bourbon or whatever. That's like his. Right, man. right. That's his thing. So in 1789, he was supposed to be in Kentucky making bourbon. But Kentucky didn't become a state till 1792. Huh. And he, he was on a ship in 1789 coming from Europe. So I don't fucking know. <laughs> what the hell? Elijah Craig, when we do that, we can do more of that. Yeah, we'll we'll try to conjure I up a theory. Like, I do like Elijah Craig. I don't have any, but I don't think I've ever had it. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's uh, it's, it's pretty peppery. Peppery, you say? Mm hmm. Hmm. I'm into peppery. Yeah, big pepper guy. Like my pepper. Um. All right. All right well. Yeah, I'm pretty much good here. Yeah, I'm not getting anything else from it, so. Uh, me either. Take us away, Maestro. Ah, hello, Maestro here. Uh, all right, thank you guys for watching. Uh, make sure to like the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below which uh, bourbons or whiskey, whatever you want us to try next. And make sure to check out our Blind Poor War episodes. All the, uh, which are the, what are they called? Playlists will be down below. Uh, yeah, yeah, that. And uh, yeah, all right, have a good day. Night. Weekend, whatever. Yeah. Have a good one. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.